Hey crew and welcome back. Today I want to talk to you about the fab.com website that Unreal has launched. Fab is a combination of the Unreal Marketplace, the Sketchfab store, along with the new home for the Quixel Mega Scans. And if you act now, you can get all the Quixel Mega Scan libraries that were transferred over for free until the end of 24. That includes anything that they are going to release between now and 24. I want to go over that with you and then show you how to use it inside of Unreal. So let's get started. So if you open your browsing, go to fab.com. In the upper right hand corner, go ahead and sign into your Unreal account. And then right in the middle of the screen, you'll see they've made this very easy to where you can get all the Quixel Mega Scans for free. There will be a button right here where you can click. You can see I've already done this. Once you do that, go ahead and explore the rest of the home page. You'll see they have a lot of this broken down for you by platform. One of the great things about fab.com is if you've ever had to go and look for 3D assets, you know how much of a pain in the can be sorting through all the different websites. Right now with all the assets from the Unreal Marketplace, Sketchfab Store, and Quixel Mega Scans, this is a great starting point to find some of those. There are other sites such as ArtStation and some others that will be migrating into this are in early 25. So this really does make this a one-stop shop for Unity, Unreal, UEFN if you use that, but even Blender, Maya, ZBrush, any of those that you use. Right now, they are running a special too. If you click on this last banner ad, you can get a six-month trial of Substance 3D tools. Let's go ahead and click on that. So right now, if you either post a listing to Fab or you spend $25 in assets, you'll get six months of Substance Painter and Modeler for free to try out. Now, if you've played a game in the last five to eight years, you've seen assets that have used Substance Painter for their creation. It is kind of the industry standard. So if this is something you've been wanting to try and learn, this would be a great way to get your hands on that and try that out, especially with the winter months coming up for some of us. So back to the Fab Store. Everything you had in your Unreal Marketplace, you will see here. Now that we have claimed our Quixel Mega Scans on the other screen, you're not going to see them in your library, and I'll go over that a little further here in a moment. But anything you did have in the Unreal Vault, you should see here listed along with anything else that you may grab from the new fab marketplace. So right now, if I go up to discover, I'm going to click on 3d models. They've made this very easy to sort through much better than what it was with the unreal marketplace. Sorry, unreal, but your site sucked. So if you go to formats, you'll notice here there's, there's max, there's blender, Maya, or if you're looking for a particular type of file format to pull out, so XBF, OBJ, just depends upon what you need. Or if you want to limit by the engine, you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Unreal. If you go down from there, you'll notice under price, they've made it very easy to sort through the free assets. So take some time and go through this. There are a number of free assets on here of varying quality. Some of these are pretty good to pull down and use for placeholders in Unreal. Others are game ready right now. So just browse through. This is not a bad selection for free. So for the Quixel Mega Scans, what you want to do is you're going to want to come up here at the top. I'm going to come up to the top and type Quixel. From here, some of these search results that come up, not all of them, but a few of them, you'll notice the Quixel icon here in, in the top left corner. If you go ahead and click on that, it will take you to the Quixel page. They are working on an easier way to get to this. Um, but just for now, that's how you're going to get there. So along with the mega scans, they also did release 10 environment packs. That would be great for you to come in and click on if you're interested in any of them. Now you'll notice on You'll notice on this screen that some of these show that I own them. Some of these still save for free. If I click on the ones that say free, you'll notice here it says you own this item, but I have not added it to my library. Even though we've gone through and claimed the Quixel Mega Scans and they are on our account, they are not necessarily in our library like I mentioned earlier. 
Now in the uh, community post that Unreal did, they did mention that they are working on a way to properly add these to your library coming a little bit later this year. Um, but for right now, if there is a particular thing that you are interested in, you can just click add to library and you will see that show up under the my library section. The couple nice things about the way they have the site laid out now is you do get an image typically of some of the assets and then you can also view it in 3D in your browser before you download it. So you can inspect it a little bit, zoom in on it and see if it really is what you want for your game. If you use the tools on the right, you will notice um, for, I'll come back to that in a minute. So for the layers, you can turn that on and then you can see the base color, roughness, and whatnot for the wireframe, depending upon the model, the default color for the wireframe is white. If that doesn't work for you, you can hit this gear icon and for the wireframe color, you can change this to a different color that works for you. So we change that. Now, if I go to wireframe, you'll notice that's in red. You can click that again to turn off your layers and then also reset your camera if you ever lost. In the layers, it does also give you additional information about the asset. So you can view all of that before you download. So take some time and go through this and see what they have. You can also come up to discover. If there is a particular type of item that you're looking for, they do have this kind of listed here. Any of these items will have this filter on the side and you can sort through by free or in a certain price range or whatever it is you're looking for. Now to get this inside of Unreal, let's go ahead and open the Epic Launcher. When you do that, you're gonna scroll down to where vault was it's now called fab library in the search bar i just want you to type fab you're going to see fab ue plugin come up we're going to click install and on this you'll see it's only right now the fab plugin is only available for 5.3 4 and 5.5 hopefully they're going to add additional versions soon so for right now i'm going to choose 5.4 and install i'm going to wait for that to download and install then we're going to start up Unreal Engine. You can open any existing project that you might have or a blank project just to try this out. I am just going to call this one Fab Test and go ahead and open it. Once you have Unreal open, you're going to want to go up to Edit and then Plugins and search for fab. Now, if this is not checked, you're going to want to check this and then more than likely it's going to prompt you to restart your engine. Once you restart your engine and fab is the fab plugin is up and running, it will prompt you in a browser to sign into your fab account. And I've just done that off screen. So I'm going to go ahead and close this. Then we're going to go up to window and then down to fab. So I'm going to go ahead and dock this in my main viewing area. And as you can see, it, the initial layout is very similar to the fab.com website. So since you are in Unreal, obviously they do have this filtered to Unreal, but you can still have a lot of the other filters that you do see on the website. So once again, we can search for free. And I've noticed with the plugin inside of the editor, it does take just a little bit longer than what the website normally does. But so far, everything's been great to use. So I'm going to go ahead and click on these low poly rocks. And if I like these, I can inspect these. I can add to my library, but then also you'll notice since we're using the plugin, you can say add to project. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then it's going to download the asset for me. I'm going to come back to my map. I'm going to open the content drawer. And then right here we have our stylized rocks. And then just that quickly, we can add them to our scene and start using them. So this really is a great plugin. It does work a lot better than what the previous Unreal Marketplace plugins used to function inside of Unreal Editor. Now for the topic of the video, the Quixel Mega Scans. So once again, I'm going to come up here and type Quixel. 
I really do hope they add a Quixel shortcut over here or something along those lines. But I am going to find one of these results. I'm going to look for this Quixel logo. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. So there's a couple different ways that you can use these Quixel items. So I'm going to come down to this archway right here. Much like the Quixel options before, you have this drop down if you want your high, medium, low quality or nanites available. And then you can say add to project. I'm going to go ahead and click medium quality and add to project. Come back to my map, open the content drawer. You're going to see a folder here called fab. Once I open that, there is my mega scans. And here's the mantle that we downloaded. I think I called that a doorway before I apologize. So as you can see, even with slowing the camera down, so as you can see, it's here in my game just that quick. Medium quality looks pretty good, really, just for grabbing it and throwing it into the world with no other alterations. So the last thing I want to cover, I'm going to come back to the Fab tab in my Unreal Editor. I'm going to, in the upper left corner, hit this hamburger menu. And you're going to see the drop downs for Discover. If you open Discover, you're going to see there's a lot of pre-filtered categories for you to click on. But underneath of that is My Library. So you can click on that and get access to everything that you have from Unreal or anything you have grabbed from Fab. Like I said, the integration with other asset stores is coming a little bit later in the year. Under My Library, you're going to see the filters across the top. So if I want to filter specifically for 3D models, I can do that. I can sort them by or filter them out by the purchase date. So if I only want to look at everything I've purchased in the last 30 days, I can do that. And then also there is some format options in here too. So this part is very much the same as the other assets that we've looked at so far. I can choose one of these and say add to project. And then it's going to download that for me and then pull that into my project. Come back over to my map and I will see the new asset that I just pulled in. Then I can grab these and start using these in my world this quick. So the great thing about this is using Fab in this way with these various assets, either from Fab or you've previously gotten from Unreal Marketplace, it really does make environment creation feel more like playing with Lego pieces or something along those lines, instead of having to configure every single little option. So while people were nervous about Fab coming out, I do see this as a really good thing for the overall indie community. So take some time, run out to fab.com and check this out. If you guys did enjoy this content, I would appreciate a like and subscribe as it does help the channel grow. And I'll see you guys in my next video.